What is up, guys? My name is The Austinator, and welcome back to the channel. This is the first episode of Shadow Eye, the real first episode, because the first episode that we did wasn't very good. What? Uh, that was not a good stream, but this is the first real episode, I think, hopefully. <laughs> um, what if this one goes bad? Well, then we're going to have to delete the stream, too. No, it's going to go good, everyone. It's going to go good. Austin, just shut up and keep on doing your thing. Right. right. So the topics that we talked about yesterday, we are probably going to be talking about, we're going to talk about today because this is the first real episode. Let's just forget that it, that episode ever happened. Um, so welcome to my guests, uh, Ninjoy243. Say hello. hello there. And hello there. and making his debut on the channel, Jerry FTW. What's up? Oh. Now, today we're going to go through a plethora of topics. Um, but first, uh, Ninja, can you tell them where they can find you at? All right, you can check out my you can check out my own channel, Ninja243, in which we usually talk about uh Star Wars related stuff. Um, I have my own Star Wars tributes on there. Uh, some are really good, like my Lego stop motion one. And then we also talk about some Marvel ones also. Um, Marvel news, DC news, basically every every other thing that we're all into. And um, sometimes video games and stuff like that. You can also check out my Twitter at Ninjoy243, Instagram at Ninjoy243, Snapchat at Ninjoy243, and also Facebook, Seth Nindrowski. That is all. Very nice. Now, Jerry, where can they find you at? Uh, any social media under Jerry for the win. Literally any. Very, very nice. You guys can check me out on Twitter at the TheAustinator17. You can you can uh, find me on Discord at the Austinator, and you guys can find me on YouTube at the Austinator, where I'm trying to reach my goal of 50 subscribers. So if you guys want to check that out, I usually do gaming streams on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Um, and I do on Wednesdays I do Splash Talk, and then Sundays you can check us out here on Shadow Eye. And you know what? Let's just get right into this. So we do have three topics to talk about. Uh, all of it's DC news because there's no real Marvel news. Uh, right yeah. now. So let's get to the first topic. Uh, Keaton or Bale returning as Batman. Now, the rumor has it that if the Flash movie gets made, they're going to do like this multiverse thing, and Keaton's going to return as the Batman Beyond Batman. Now, do you guys think that the, this is just a rumor? Do you guys think that this is true? Would you guys like to see Keaton or Bale return? There's actually also rumors that Bale might return. So, what do you guys think about this? I think it's pretty cool. I'll tell you that. I hope it happens. I because think we could have both of them. It'd be great. Overall, I really do think that Keaton should return and not Bale. Like, I was okay with Bale's performance, but I think Keaton's was better. Yeah. That's right, man. See, but I think the problem is, is, like, Keaton and Bale were, like, in two different films. Like, two different, like, Batman, like, franchises. Because uh, Keaton was put in the comic book accurate version, while Bale was in more, like, the realistic crime drama-ish uh, Batman uh, series. So, it was, like, those are two different performances. But I would like to see Keaton return, mainly because of nostalgia. Because the uh, the 1989 Batman film was one of the first superhero films I've ever seen. Besides okay. for the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. Mm -hmm. So it would be great to see him, but there's one problem with this, though. The Flash movie has to be made for this to make any sense. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's very true. I hope and, the Flash movie gets made also. Well, the Flash movie I don't think is ever going to be made. Mainly because of the Isra Miller thing with that fan. And I actually am kind of glad that Isra Miller won't be returning. Like, we don't know, but he's probably not going to return. 
and I'm kind of glad because his flash was not the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I also, I mean, if the writing was better, I could see Ezra Miller being a good flash, but I'm not an Ezra Miller fan. So it's like, it's kind of hard to really say if his flash was would have been good if he had better writing. Yeah. But, you know, hey, like, we'll see what happens with the Snyder Cut, because the Snyder Cut was supposed to have a darker flash. Yeah, I did hear that also. And if Ezra Miller still sucks in the Snyder Cut, you know, then I would say just replace him, because there's no reason to keep him on if he's just not good. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you know, I'm fine with it, but the problem is, if this movie gets made, how would you have Keaton return? Would it be in a Batman Beyond sense, or would you have him maybe return as Batman Batman? Uh, Batman Beyond, I would actually like it. But it would have to be non-DCU. Yeah, it would have to take place in the uh, Burton-verse. Yeah. I feel like they're just trying to, like, DC doesn't know their stuff. Like, they don't know what to do, basically. Yeah. They have no clue what to do. It's like, oh, we wanted Ben Affleck for Batman. And guess what? Now Ben Affleck says that he wants to take a little bit of a break. Like, he doesn't know if he wants to be gone or not. And I think it determines how well the Snyder Cut is, if he wants to return or not. Uh, what's up, Kamari? And I, I will say this: I think Ben Affleck's the best Batman. Him or Keaton? It's either one of the two. So I do agree with that. I'm, um, I'm leaning towards Affleck because I, I do like his bat suit a lot more, and I do like, um, his performance. And okay. he is one of the more consistently good things about the DCEU. So. Yeah. Yeah, like it, Suicide Squad. You know what was the best part in that film? The scenes Batman. where Batman kicked ass. Yeah. Yeah. All of two scenes. Pretty much. Well, I hope a second one gets made. I'd like to see a second one. Uh, second Suicide Squad? Yeah. Yeah, James uh, Gunn is doing it. I mean, I'll go into it There's with... There's definitely like, potential there. Yeah, like, I think Suicide Squad would be a good film. It's just, I think that the first film was just bad. The film is supposed to, the second one is supposed to come out next year, believe it or not. So, I don't but, know if it's going to be good or not. But now I want to ask you guys, though, what would you rather see uh, next year? Would you rather see the new Batman movie or the Suicide Squad? The new Batman movie. Yeah, Batman definitely. Because in my opinion, I think Batman's gonna. I think Batman's gonna make a billion dollars. Yeah, you're right about that. You're you're probably right about that. Because if anything has Batman in it, it's definitely gonna make a billion dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you gotta also think about the Justice League film, which had Batman in it. Well, if you have Batman's name in the title, then it usually makes a ton of money. Yes, I will say that. Uh, oh, man. So, you know, I think we finished this topic, I think. I think we would like this to happen. Um, actually, you know, let, I'm actually going to uh, segue into this. Uh, do you guys think that the Flash movie is actually going to be made? or do you, And if so, do you guys think they should do Flashpoint, or should they just wait? A flashpoint would make sense, but guess what? Knowing DC, DC probably won't do it. Yeah, no, I, don't okay. think it I feel like if there's enough noise about it, they might consider doing it if they haven't already. But I hope it gets made. And I'm gonna say this: if the TV show couldn't get the flashpoint storyline right, I just think that personally. I'm a little worried about how uh, Warner Brothers is going to do it because Warner Brothers has that track record of their films not, or the recent DC films, of not being that great. 
and I love DC, and I will admit that a lot of DC films are not that good. Like, I do think some of them are really good and are a lot are underrated. I feel like that WB has that track record of they usually studio interference that causes the film to be bad. Yeah. Like, with BBS, that movie, the theatrical cut wasn't very good, but when the ultimate cut came out, everyone was like, oh, that was, this was actually really good. Same thing with Justice League. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Kavari says Keaton is not getting a solo film. It's a cameo in the Flash movie. Well, that's what everyone's thinking. And do I actually think a Flash movie is going to work? I think it has potential to work, absolutely, like all the other films. But are they actually going to actually get it done? Probably not. And Kavar says Ben has done his Batman. Robert Pattinson is the future Batman, and the Gotham GCPD series proves that Ben is done. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So you know what? Um, I do actually agree with Kavar on that one. So Ben's not going to return, but Robert Pattinson, I think he's going to play good Batman. In my opinion. I hope he does. Yeah, like I'll say that Rob Pattinson has a has the potential to be Batman. It's just how they're gonna write the film as well. Yeah. The, the, and I also heard with the Batman, they're gonna have like a ton of villains. He's got a lot you know, of pressure on him, that's for sure. I yeah. heard, I heard that they're actually trying to do almost like the Arkham games, but in the film. Well, to me, I feel like that's a little too many. Like, you should focus on maybe one or two villains in the film instead of doing a ton of them. But then here's a question. What villains would you try and do for the DCU? Uh, for Batman? Yeah. Uh, that one's tough. I want to see villains I haven't seen in a while. So I do not want to see Joker yet. Mainly for the simple fact that I just don't want to see... Another joke, because we technically got Joker a couple years ago. We don't really need to see him again. And they did confirm that in this movie that they're going to bring in Riddler uh, and the Penguin, which I'm actually okay with this, because we mm. haven't seen them yet in film in a while. That I would be okay with. I would like to see them maybe do Firefly. Um, mm -hmm. Not as a main villain, but maybe like as a side villain. Mm -hmm. You, they could do. Uh, ooh, this is Deathstroke. Maybe do Deathstroke, mainly because again, I'm. I would definitely go see a Batman versus Deathstroke movie. Clayface. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they can do Clayface as well. And what's up, Jeremy? Thank you for coming in, my friend. Um, hmm. This is tough, because Batman has a ton of villains. I would like them to maybe do Poison Ivy and Mr. Freeze again. Here's one little thing. They better not do Kite Man or Calendar Man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why? What's your problem with uh, Calendar Man? <laughs> the infamous Calendar Man. <laughs> hey, yeah, Calendar well, Man... Hey, hey, Calendar Man worked in the... um. <clears throat> in the uh, Lego Batman movie, but that was the only time that he would work. Just I mean, if, if you give him maybe something better to do, if you gave like good writing, I think Calendar Man would work, but I, I agree that he's he shouldn't be like a main villain. I, you know what? I would like to see I would like to see Hush. Yeah, uh, did you hear about um uh, shoot. Um, the new villain that the comics introduced called Punchline. I've heard, yes, I have, yes. Let me just say, you gotta read it. Is it good? It's very good. Mm -hmm. How do I know? Because I, I work at a comic book shop. So I read all the comics and all of that. So no, Punchline is a very good character. Let and me just that's tell the, you that. And I will say this. That's the one thing that DC has over Marvel, that the comics are better. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Uh, so next topic. Oh, we got a couple comments. They better leave Forever alone. I mean, Forever was... Eh, I, I don't know. Like, Forever and Batman and Robin were not great movies, but I still enjoyed them, though. Yeah, they were I, terrible. I actually and enjoyed George, those films. The whole films. point of Flashpoint is that Barry goes back to save his mom from dying. Oh, I love them as well. I, I yeah. will say that I love Batman and Robin. I, I mean, it's so them. bad, but it's hilarious. I enjoy them, but um, there's some uh, there are things in there in which should have not happened. Like they should have kept with a little bit of the darker tone. But I get why Forever was a little bit like they can't like it's not as dark as most of them because they were trying to take it off like the '60s comics. Not the 60s show. Yeah. So the 60s comics was basically Batman Forever. So I get why they did that. Hmm. Uh, so next topic, we're going to be talking about Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern, and the Snyder Cut. So rumors that are circling around is that Ryan Reynolds is going to be reprising his role as Green Lantern as like a little cameo where... Uh, he's like, like, I think it's, he's either, he gets killed pretty much. Um, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that Ryan Reynolds is going to return or no? Uh, I think it would be funny if it did happen, but the chances seem kind of slim. Okay. Well, in Zack Snyder's original vision, what he said was that the post credit scene of the, um, Justice League was originally going to be Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter meeting Batman and them saying that Dark Side is coming now and everything because Steppenwolf failed. So that's the thing. Like, I know we all know Green Lantern is going to appear within the Snyder Cut, but who's going to perform him? That's the thing. If they did Ryan Reynolds. I think that would actually be kind of okay. But why would Reynolds do it? Yeah. That's the only thing. Why would he do that? Because he it made him look bad as an actor. Thank God he got Deadpool. Because Deadpool just fixed his whole career. True. Very true. I think the uh, only Jeremy says he liked it. the Green Lantern movie, not perfect. He still liked it. Yeah. What's that, Jerry? I don't know. I don't think I would. I never really cared to watch it ever again after I watched it the first time. It was just one of those movies that I just watched because it was a superhero movie, and that's where I left it. Now, yeah, the- I, I would like to say, though, like going. Like back to Ninja's point is that uh, Ryan, this movie nearly killed his career in a sense. Like it bombed at the box office. The movie didn't oh, do yeah. well critically. Like why would Ryan Reynolds go back to a role that really that basically almost ruined his career? And not a lot of people are going to like because they either. You know, they think about the Green Lantern movie and they're like, oh, this is bad. Or, like, I just, to me, I think the only other way to do it is just be, is just not do Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. Just maybe have it be like John Jones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what of the rumors of him coming back to Green Lantern? Uh, basically, he's just going to go back Basically, there's rumors that he's going to be Green Lantern and the Snyder Cut is like a cameo. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I think the chances of that are very slim. Yeah. Yep. And Jeremy says, I want more Hal Jordan. Um, so I, I will say this. Ryan Reynolds did have the look of Hal Jordan. But if he was given a better movie to work with, I think he would have been a good Green Lantern. Yeah. And the other thing I didn't like of that movie is that the suit. Is what? That was CGI 
his uh, costume that he wore. Yeah. Yeah. It looks so bad. And the yeah. movie looks yeah. cheap at times. Oh, yeah. Yes. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, some, like... Mm, like, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, like, CGI. It's just... Thankfully, it, what it reminds me of is, like, a fan-made film. Yeah. Yeah. And they rushed Parallax. Parallax looked bad in that movie. Mm -hmm. He looked like a shit cloud. <laughs> uh, there we go with the shit again. <laughs> I will say, though, that when I was a kid, I did enjoy this movie. But yeah. now that I, if I rewatch it now, it's like this movie is bad. Mm -hmm. Because... I can fully relate to that, actually. Because it's kind of like with me with Spider-Man 3. It's like when I was a kid, I loved it. But then as I grew older, I'm like, yeah, this movie's pretty bad. Now, actually with Spider-Man 3, and I like Spider-Man 3. But there are many things wrong within that film. Yeah. I just think this film is always going to have like a special place because I I've loved it ever since I watched it. Mm -hmm. But looking back, and Kavar comes in. Oh. Let, uh, geez, why why am I having issues here? Uh, let's hope the big budget HBO Max Green Lantern series redeems the 2011 Green Lantern movie. Yeah, that I, I actually yeah. I mean, here's how you do it. Have really good CGI, have good writing, then... Yeah, I have to see the movie. It's being better than the movie. But yeah. at this point, anything was better than the movie that we got. Do, do it similar, Jeremy's got a little better. Faith. Do it similar to, like, just look at Stargirl, for example, and follow the lead. <laughs> Basically. And I'm actually going to say something that might annoy some people, but Stargirl Season 1 is what Supergirl Season 1 should have been. I'm annoyed. I actually <laughs> agree with that. I 100% agree with that. Like, I feel like the actress seems more like a Supergirl, to be honest. Well, I will say about Melissa Benoit is that she is a real, she looks like Supergirl. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. She seems and she looks like it. Her. Yeah, but I really would have liked them maybe to like have her learn like throughout like the first seasons, like have her learn how to control her powers because in like the first couple episodes, she immediately knows how to do this stuff. When in, like she had no real training, like okay, you could say, well, Superman didn't do that, but I'm like he technically did have training in a sense. Now, though, I actually like Star. I mean, Supergirl seasons uh, one through three, four and five. I have problems with. Yeah. No, I I will say I not like season one or two. I liked three and four, and then five is yeah, I got bad again. They lost me. Oh. My now, oh. Batwoman, Batwoman is bad. <laughs> yeah, please don't talk about her on here. Like, oh, like, trust me. I, I do have hope for the um, second season. I do have hope, but that's it. I've spoken. <laughs> Jeremy says he does not like Star Girl. Jeremy, what the heck is wrong with you? I mean, that, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I mean, hey, listen. You know, some shows, you know, some people just don't like. That's perfectly fine. How, oh, Jeremy, how? How, brother, how? Can you please tell me some opinions? Because I think that's actually probably one of the best superhero shows of all time. And we only saw, like, eight episodes of it. Yeah. I will, I'll come to this right now. I think out of all the CW shows, Star Girl is the best one of the year so far. The Flash and it's the not even a CW show. That's the funny thing. Yeah. And I will say this. The first half of uh, 
first class was good this season, but then once like the last half after crisis, that's when the show kind of went down a little bit. Yeah. And I also thought Supergirl had good episodes this season, but I did feel like this season was bad. And, and you know that why, one was right. And you know why um Stargirl is actually successful? Because they got the writer who wrote Stargirl in the comics to write the show. Yeah, and they also got, got good actors, decent CGI, and the action is very fun. Oh, I think the CGI is at its best within the show. Like, out of all the shows in the CW that I saw. But it was not made for the CW. It was made for the DC streaming service. And I, I will say this, even though I know a lot, I know some people don't like the season, but I actually enjoyed the last season of Arrow. Mm, I have problems with it, but I do actually kind of enjoy it. Uh, so Kamari says, the same people involved with Stargirl will produce the HBO Green Lantern series. Well, if it's the same people involved, then I actually have hope. I have hope, too. Uh... So, I think oh, we're Jordan's, all in agreement. Okay. All right. That's who I am. Okay. That, that's perfect. perfectly fine, my friend. Yeah, that's perfectly fine at all. And we cool, all right? We yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, like I said, you know, we like it. You like it. That's perfectly fine. We all have our own cups of tea. Mm -hmm. um, like, I so love I the Rise like of Skywalker. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, that's just a running gag with me and Austin. Austin hates The Rise of Skywalker. I, I love the heck out of that film. I love this movie. It's so good. How do you not well, like it? Hate, hate is a very strong word. You must like it. I strongly dislike it. I never said I hated it. Because I did say that I would rather watch The Last Jedi. No, I would rather watch Rise of Skywalker. Walker over Last Jedi and Solo. Also, I'm a support for those films also. And I'm a Disney supporter. Um, so I think we're all in agreement here that Ryan, the chances of Ryan Reynolds be, uh, returning as Green Lantern is kind of slim. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so now we're going to head into Fisher versus Whedon. So we all know who Joss Whedon is. He was the guy who directed uh, the Avengers films, the Justice League movie, the uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think he did Firefly. Um, Wait a second. Like all those shows. Austin, can I quickly ask a question? Is that actually how you spell Fisher's uh, last name? Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, Kavari. I have no clue. Because I was trying to get him on for the show because he's a regular, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have no clue. Uh, so, I think... So, this whole situation began after the Snyder Cut was announced. It was like a... I would say a month or maybe a few weeks after the fact... And Fisher stated that I I said about him because like he said something at Comic Con about how he was a good guy or whatever. And he basically said how we didn't basically use the box set and how you know like certain things could be done. I have to pull up what he what he basically said right now. Um, but it was something like that. It was like abusive and bad to work with. Mm-hmm. But uh, what do you guys think about this? Um, to be honest, things like this always happens. The actor versus the director. Yeah. But to be honest, I don't care. Okay, like I understand why Fisher might be upset at Whedon. All because Whedon deleted a lot of his character stuff. Yeah. But guess what? Whedon, I don't think Whedon would do something bad during the set and everything. Probably not. So, you know Probably what? This goes. So, you know what? 
Yeah, and it clearly shows because all the other I remember that um <clears throat> uh what's his name? Ray Fisher was actually praising Whedon and everything. Oh yeah. During the during um all the um uh shoot interviews and all of that before the film. So you know what? I feel like he's like, oh well guess what? The snare cut's gonna be better. But guess what? I'm gonna just just talk shit all about Whedon. Saying that he's actually a bad uh bad director, but guess what? He's actually not a bad director. Okay? Oh, no. Because he gave us the first two Avengers films. Okay, guys? All right. Although Age of Ultron, I do have issues with. Oh, I actually like Age of Ultron. I never liked it as much as the others, but... No, no. Different Age of Ultron there. is my least favorite out of the Avengers films. But, yo, know, like, I will say, though, actually, some parts of Age of Ultron I actually like more than Endgame. Some parts. Uh, some parts. I'm talking about the action. Uh, compared to I mean, I, the first I half of... Yo, know, like the first act of Endgame was a little bit slow. I don't know. A little, but not really. It's, it's one of those. Like I think, at yeah, least like, they, I would say at least at least Age of Ultron did not have as much comedy as Endgame. Can we all agree on that? Uh, I mean, I, like the comedy, I will though. say that. But, well, the comedy was fine. Uh, I didn't really like the comedy in Endgame because I felt like it was not necessary in that type of film. But it was still a good film. Like, to me, I'd rather Endgame over um, Age of Ultron any day. I'm just saying that there are some good parts in Age of Ultron that I actually kind of rather see than, like, after Thanos' death in the first act. Well I will say that Age of Ultron, like, there were some really good parts, but, like, a lot of... Uh, I still have a ton of problems. Like, first of all, I did not like Ultron as a villain. Oh, I actually like Ultron as a villain. I would have preferred if Ultron was a darker character, because Ultron, at times, was silly. Yeah. And it does not work with his character. If you read the comics, he's a... If you read the Age of Ultron comic books, like, Ultron is freaking dark. Yeah, they got some dark elements in him. I, I just feel like he, um, and that's also a little bit of a thing with the MCU Spider-Man, too. It's like everything now in these days are about jokes. Yeah, sure, the jokes at parts are funny and all that. It's just, it should be a little bit more serious, like the comics. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. Even though that now, I would actually like Spider-Man to crack jokes because he doesn't know when to shut up in the comics of how to crack jokes. But I'm talking about other characters cracking jokes. Uh, Kavari says, I think Fisher is shady over Justice League because we didn't want him to say booyah. And it's been three years since Justice League and he decides now to speak out. It's BS. Yes. Uh, yes, Kavari. I, I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, okay? It is complete bullshit, all right? It's been three years. The guy could have came out last year and said this. And I will say, unless there's proof, then I I have to see proof first before I can. Yeah. Like, if more people come out and say, like, hey, look, Joss Whedon did this on set, then, yeah, I can maybe say, okay, I believe him. But at the same time, if it's only one person so far, I, I can't really believe that. It's hard to believe there would be no video or anything. Yeah. About this so-called abuse on set. In which I don't Cause... think there's anything. There's nothing at all. No. And I want to say this right now. Like, no one from Marvel said anything about him being abusive. No, No one from... The, like the DC stuff said anything. No one from like uh, Firefly. No, no one from any other works that he's done said anything. So it's like, 
What are you going to do? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just a bunch of bullshit. Oh, did you guys hear that uh, Jason Momoa is going to be uh, voicing Frosty the Snowman? What? When is this happening? Wait, what, what did you say, Austin? I said that Jason Momoa is going to be voicing uh, Frosty the Snowman. Uh, weird choice. <laughs> weird choice. You know, now, you know who would be a really good Frosty the Snowman? The guy who portrays Patrick. No, Nicolas Cage. Well, actually, the guy who portrayed Patrick actually did get to play um, Frosty in a animated special. Now that I thought about it, and he actually did pretty good. But uh, Nicholas Cage, you actually said that. Hmm. Um, Kavari. Wait, let me see. He says, "I personally don't want Snyder back in the DCEU with." Is with his salty Snyder cult members. Uh, see, that's a difficult one because I feel like that if Snyder was able to like show what he wanted to do, no, but that no, but I think Zack Snyder is good enough, Kavari, to be like the Kevin Feige to the DCU and everything. He's going to be president of the DCU and everything. I think that completely. And with this Snyder Cut, I think we're actually going to see that. And uh, let's go to the next two comments. Uh, Jeremy says he liked the Justice League. I, uh, the movie or just like the Justice League in general? Oh, well, the movie I was okay with. It's just some parts of it should have been better. Yeah. I, I liked certain scenes in the movie. There were yeah. a lot of yeah. problems. Yeah, I actually like that the ending scene is with, uh, well, the, like, before the post credit scene, there was, like, a after credit scene where um, it's Superman racing Flash. I like that. I just don't like Ezra Miller as the Flash, like, at all. Yeah, that's why. the only thing. Oh. That's the only thing. I just don't like that. I honest. wish they did Grant Gustin. I don't know how they would make it work, but I just like him as the Flash. Well, we did see that Ezra Miller's Flash and Grant Gustin's Flash uh, saw each other in um, Crisis. Yeah. So that that could have worked. I just like Grant Gustin way better. <laughs> uh, yeah, Grant Gustin's fantastic. Um, except the writing on that show sometimes is a little, little, little off. Like, um, and, the whole marriage thing? Yeah, I, I, I'm honestly going to tell you, I'm not a fan of Iris and Barry. Oh, no. Please don't, Cara, don't, please right. don't bring up the whole Kara and <laughs> Barry. No, 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 we're not doing Kara <laughs> and Barry here, no. I have to go with realistic now. <laughs> My God. Wait, I, I would say I would say Barry would have worked better with Caitlin. And then, yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> my God! I remember that fan fiction in which we read. <laughs> yeah, that fan fiction video now has sixty views. <laughs> that it, it, it deserves more work. views. It deserves more views. Absolutely. I just love the comments. Like that was the best thing. My favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care. I don't care how many views it gets. You got to keep that up forever. <laughs> that yeah, no, it's staying up forever. Because <laughs> by God, that that is plain hilarious. Um, but yeah, it just and then everyone's reactions. Like I said that Kara and uh, Flash, they had sex with their own daughter. In which we actually found out that they had at the end. No, they no, they just hugged. No, they had sex. If you remember. No, they didn't. Listen, yes, Ninja, I did. will. I will bring up the. I will bring up that fan fiction right now, and I'll show you proof. I thought I heard that. Hey, if if Ryan says that, 
and also Thomas remembers that, then I think my side wins. Oh, brother. Yeah, Here, so I'm bringing... hopefully there's incest now in fan fiction. No. No. What did I... Hang on. Let me find Let me find it. I gotta find what the, the oh my story God. was called. Hey, guys! You know, this is Shadow Eye. Guess what? It's now more fan fiction. <laughs> And oh, also fan fiction. Oh, the return yeah. of the stupid fan fiction. It's got like 61 views right now. Because I think, I, I remember my reaction as soon as I came on. I'm like, what the heck is this shit? <laughs> and then Thomas came on and he basically roasted everything. He's like, what the heck is this? All right, hang on. Let me let me go on yeah. Wattpad real quick. Like legit, that's um, man, oh man, man, oh man. My dear friend Wattpad. Dear. Yeah, because I remember. I, I brought, I, that the daughter came back from the future, if you remember. Yes, and but then they she hugged. did not do that. And that yes, she did. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. I swear, all right, all right, all right. she did. Okay, but let's get back to the main topic. No, hold on. Yeah, it Austin, doesn't say this. Austin, it does not down. say this. As as a. As a guest of the show, as one of the hosts, I want to quickly say you got to chill the heck down now. All right? Because after all, we have two huge comments coming up. At least one. Oh, 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 and now, now your friend just left. I don't like the Flash. I just don't like going back in time and stuff. I don't, and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, oh. Yep, little uh, technical difficulties. Okay. It's all right. Um, Walter Hamada is the new boss over at DC. Because of him, we're getting Batman, Suicide Squad, Black Adam, Flash, Aquaman 2. Snyder needs to move the fuck on. Very strong opinions. Yeah, that's very strong. Uh... Also, I found, I found the fan fiction. I'm going to share my screen. Oh, dear God. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay, now... If you look closely here, they got dressed and she hugged her mom and dad. Okay. Now they did. Now she did find them uh, on the couch, but none of that. While happened. having sex, if you remember. No, they were cuddled. It was I afterwards. I thought they were having sex. I don't remember. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> See, I you win, okay? I don't care about I don't care about stupid uh, fan fiction where uh, where Supergirl and Flash they marry each other, then they have a kid. That Supergirl can't even tell that she had a child when she has X-ray vision. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, trust me. You want to you want to read a really bad fan fiction on this show? How about we watch a uh, hit read hit the mark? Oh no, you should read. This is like the worst fan fiction. The Lego Ninjago ones, in which we read. Oh, I, I started uh, the first one. Reading. The first one was the best one, and then the other two sucked. <laughs> the oh, first one was me. funny. Because it's just like funny. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, um there's I did read one Ninja fan fiction that uh oh boy. Oh please don't tell me what was this fan fiction. Wait, so, did you read it on the stream, or did you actually read it after the stream? I found it after the stream. Oh, dear God. Please don't tell me it's something which I hate. It's, it was a Zane and Pixel fanfiction. Oh, my God. 
Can you want to know what it's called? It's probably gonna be metal porn. Oh, oh boy! It says <laughs> robot. It says robot pregnant. Wait, what was the title? Robot pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? So Zane is powered by a very strong, um, like by something rare, like a rare power source and everything. Are you now telling me that he has a? Uh, he he now has rare uh rare parts that makes him come. What the heck? Uh yeah, you wanna know what the first chapter was called? Robot Sex! No, it was called Artificial Hormones and Video Games. Say so psych right now. <laughs> All right, let's read these. <laughs> let's read these chats. Android porn. And the Arrow TV show sucks. They made him into a cheap version of Batman. Whoa. That's uh, that's kind of true, but I, mean, I, I still enjoy it. I say something so true yet so controversial. And Kavar says Static Shock could be DC Spider Man. Jeremy says he would like to see Static Shock, and he said set him in New Chicago. And then Jeremy says just don't make Shock bald. I like that no one even mentioned about <laughs> that we were talking about the Zane and <laughs> the Zane shit with a uh, pixel. <laughs> oh God! Oh, it's it's it was uh, it was a rough one. There was like like a Kai and Skyler one too. That was uh, pretty bad. I don't even remember the title, but I can't. I don't know if I can find it anymore. But uh, oh dear yeah, God! Well, a, guess what? I don't don't tell me anything about Kai and the Skyler thing. After all, guys, we're gonna start watching Ninjago season four probably, and we'll review it probably tomorrow. Actually, well, it depends if I can even if, if I can even do it today. Yeah. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, or if I could do it today, too. To be so, so yeah. we kind of went off the rails here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, let's get into our next topic. Of just because I want to see, I just want Ninjroid to freak out. Uh, Don't you dare! Don't, no, 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 Jack, you're going to put! Don't you dare, boy! Or else I'm going to just jump off the stream. Now, this Don't guy... Don't you dare pick that up! Don't you dare put that up, boy. Don't name you Doom dare. Cock. His name is Doomcock. He's obviously a reliable source. Doomcock is a piece of shit, okay? <laughs> oh, boy. Number one, you should not trust a guy which... A, a source called Doomcock. You should not trust someone which has cock in his name. Okay? What about but Hancock? You would trust him. Who would trust a YouTuber called Doomcock? All right? Hey, uh, I look like Dr. Doom and I have a robot cock. Sounds pretty reliable to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, uh, Cosmic News, you know, obviously another Don't reliable... Don't you dare! Cosmic Book News, let me tell you guys, is fake news. And also, we got this covered. How do you know? Just watch my own video about the John Boyega, uh, the John Boyega Star Wars rumor, um, about him coming back because I completely tore apart that article and I showed you all why you should not trust those articles. And let me tell you guys that this thing which Austin is trying to get me annoyed at already made me pissed off. Jesus oh, Christ, man. No, you better not put it on. So help me. No, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. You better. Jeremy, how dare you quote Palpatine? How dare you? You don't deserve to be quoted by Palpatine. I'm now, playing around. I'm playing around, Jeremy, just to let you know. I'm playing around now, with you. Uh, now don't you dare put it there. up. Don't you there's dare. Party please. <laughs> please. No. <laughs> Now ah! there's rumors that the sequel trilogy. Oh, he left. All right. Uh, 
Uh, Jerry, what do you think about this? The sequel trilogy is no longer to be canon. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. He uh, he kind of vanished here. Yeah, why why yeah, would he do that? Uh, what does it mean like about this? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna just completely just tell you guys this is fake news. <laughs> You want to calm down there? I am calm down. Okay. News. Okay? And just to let you know, guys, I yelled that way just to be funny. Not anything else. It is very canon. One, the sequel trilogy is canon. Do you know why? Because Disney spent millions of dollars on canon, on to make them canon. Number two, they made the sequel trilogy canon, and guess what? They can't undo it because they've made canon novels surrounding the effects of the sequel trilogy. So they can't do that. Also, they made the Resistance show, which is canon. And if they take the sequel that is true as well. that, that can't happen. Also... They made millions of dollars off of merchandise of the sequel trilogy, and they can't do that. So what I'm trying to say is you should not trust a guy called Doomcock because guess what? One, he has cock in his own name, okay? And it is basically, yo, his cock is doomed for reporting this news, all right? His cock is very doomed. So also back to this. The news is just this is fake news, and guess what? It's not gonna, it's not gonna do that. All right, it's they're not gonna do that. Can we please move on to the next topic, please? Before I before I have to make myself laugh by making me scream again. So all right, before we, I want to say this right now. I do think that this is fake, and it's basically what Ninjoid said that you know everything. Thing, you know, they it's it's a movie format. If it was like in books, then it's fine. But with movies, it's like you can't really not make them canon. So I don't understand where. Uh, you, so yeah, it's just fake. I I understand people really. Like, oh well, we hate sequel trilogy. I'm glad this happens. But if they do that, then technically, Disney looks bad. Yeah, because they're giving into the fandom menace. Well, that too, but then it makes them look bad because, you know, everything that they worked hard on, you know, they're just like, oh, it doesn't work anymore. Also, Jeremy, what do you mean sure you did? And number one, I'm not a Sith Lord. Kylo Ren is not a Sith Lord. He's a dark side force user. Uh, so let's get into the next topic. Um this is another piece of Star Wars rumor that might trigger Ninjoid. Um, it's probably now, not going to trigger me. Now, I got this off of the obvious reliable source, uh, Cosmic News Daily. Um, I, I don't know if Doomcock has even talked about this yet. I, I don't know. It's just certain sites. We, we, we don't know. We, we don't know. Um Kathleen Kennedy steps down. Now, mm -hmm. there's this rumor going around that Kathleen Kennedy is stepping down and that someone else is going to be the new president of Lucasfilm. Do you guys believe this is true or not? Mm, I mean, if it is, who cares? I mean, that's true because uh, Kathleen Kennedy, she, uh, oh boy, she really was not that great. And uh, I would like to see someone like uh, John Favreau or uh, Dave Filoni take the helm. Do you know who they said might be replacing her? Uh, 
I don't know. Yes. I think it just I think it just said that apparently there's like a civil war going on between uh, Kathleen Kennedy and John Filoni and John Favreau, and that she was stepping down to create her own company. Maybe, maybe. Uh, there we go. I'm back. Is your um, uh, audio yeah. fine? Yeah, my audio is fine. I want to quickly say that I actually heard that news, and guess what? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with this too. Like, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not saying this to uh, hate on her. I'm just saying that. Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying that. You know what? Uh, Dave Filoni should be the president of. Yeah, I, either Dave Filoni or John Favreau, because John Favreau also kind of knows his stuff, and he also made Mandalorian. Guys, I want to quickly calm down everyone in the chat. One, I was screaming because I wanted to make a point as a joke. I was not actually being triggered by it. All right. Like, I know Austin knows that. Austin, do you know that I was just going around by screaming? Yeah. And everything. So, you know what? You guys got to calm down and everything. I, I don't care if you hate the prequel trilogy. I meant the sequel trilogy. All that I'm saying is that it's never, like, they're not going to chop that done. And I know you're joking, Kavari. Jeremy says, make seven through nine a dream. Okay, if you want, if you want, Jeremy, you can just envision that. And Jeremy also said, a Hulk Hogan's movie career is better than Star Wars seven through nine. Wow. <laughs> That's your opinion. That's your opinion. Oh. Uh, God, I had like PTSD from uh, No Holds Barred, Suburban Commando, and Mr. Mandy. Oh my God. Uh. Uh. You know, like that, guys, that's not triggering at all. No, not at all. Like, no, nothing can fully trigger me that's being a Star Wars fan. Because, let me tell you, I'm not one of those toxic fanboys. Like, I know Austin knows that. Mm -hmm. And everything. So that does not tick me off that there are rumors out there. Because, let me tell you, the rumors, I, I just think that they're bullshit. Like, that's never going to happen. So I just take them like, that's never going to happen. Because they're never going to happen. But then, you know, like, that, I was just yelling for comedy reasons. Because, one, we need some more comedy on this stream. There's not enough comedy, guys. I mean, that is true. But I also kind of want to make it more professional as well. But, you know, I actually do like having... <laughs> humor right. and, uh, these types of things because it, it keeps it entertaining and fresh. Uh, so we did. So we are close to the hour mark. I'm gonna give everybody maybe a few minutes to uh, put anything in chat. If you guys have anything you guys want us to talk about, we will do that. Otherwise, we'll be rambling on for a few minutes and then we're probably gonna wrap it up. So because we got all the main topics done, and. I mean, we did kind of, you know, go off the hill a little bit where we just ranted, where I just talked about, you know, fan fiction stuff. Hey, fan fiction stuff is cool. Hey, listen, I might have to put that on my Facebook. Like, say, hey, guys, come check out my, come check out my fan fiction video with Tegan oh. or Angry Care Bears. <laughs> what was that, Jerry? You can keep that. Why? What's the why, Jerry? Have you did you actually see the fan fiction video? Nope. For good reason. 
It's funny. You guys. should it's really funny. <laughs> you should watch it. See it. Just sounds like it's, it's gonna bring a lot of problems that I don't. It's need. the funniest video I've ever done. Oh, it's the funniest <laughs> thing in the that I have ever done too. To be honest, you did not know. And you know who won that stream? Thomas. Thomas won oh that stream. Oh my god. And I mean, like, just that's one little thing. We gotta get Thomas back on here. We gotta get yeah, Thomas. Yeah, we we need. On. Like we Thomas need to have him on. We used to have Thomas on a lot, but he's working like 24-7 now and everything. So I need to... Also, I, I want to say, like, compared to the stream beforehand, this stream was actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, the stream was very well done. We still have the two people which were watching yesterday. What you're going to do, brother? I'm not going to do anything because I don't rant about stuff like that. He, he was okay. saying Hulk Hogan's catchphrase. You know, what you going to do, brother? Oh, sorry. My bad. I completely forgot. And Kamari says getting rid of Kathleen Kennedy is like getting rid of a bad case of SD. And I respect your opinion, Kavari. 100%. Yeah. All right. Oh man, <laughs> I like the sequel trilogy oh. and all of that. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna keep on rewatching just my joke, you know, my play of the thing. Do you remember? Well, yeah, you heard me yelling, my fake yelling. Oh my god, that's probably gonna get me laughing all the time. Jeremy says, "Mr. Nanny should have won an Oscar more than a new Star Wars movie will." Oh, Jeremy. Wow, wow, uh, wow, wow. <laughs> hey, I respect your opinion, bro, but I disagree. Uh, I mean, I mean, wait, didn't the new Star Wars movie get an Oscar or were they nominated for one? Um, I don't remember. No, no Oscar. It was nominated for... Uh, Best music, and it won. Well, oh, yeah, like that. That's what I meant. It was like, like yes, music, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Um, and guess what? Chris is live. Chris Knight. Yes. And he's doing it with uh Jason and Danny, I believe, with the rule of three. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you guys uh, three minutes in the chat to post anything because I want to try this at 1 at 105. So if you guys have anything you want to say in the chat, please, you know, don't be afraid to come into the chat and talk with us, man. We would be happy to do that. Uh, so, oh, I have also been playing Saints Row the Third Remaster. Dude, Saints Row is just outrageous. Like, some of the things that happen is just like, oh my god. So good. Mm. And, uh, hmm, what else? I love Saints Row. Ugh. I like the comedy in Saints Row more than uh, GTA at times. I can see that. I've like with playing. Saints Row 4 especially, like the comedy is just like, it's not taking itself too seriously because he's fighting aliens. Yeah. I'm like, oh, come on. Like aliens. Although I kind of wish they went back to like Saints Row 3 slash Saints Row 2 style. Yeah. Instead of this outrageous, you know, just craziness. Probably, as I already know, you can find me on. Sorry, guys. What killed um, the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. False. And Jer Jeremy says, "Jerry, FTW, please sub to me, dude." 
Who is this guy? Uh, Jeremy McCuller. I see. Hey, Jerry, please subscribe to me also. Oh, boy. I got quite the party here, huh? Yeah, I'm, I just remembered. <laughs> I might have to make everybody on my featured channel. Uh, basically, if I stream with somebody, I'm going to make them a moderator. Yeah. But I'm only going to give it to people who like either stream with me and then Kavari. Kavari, I just made him a moderator because he does come to every one of the streams. Hey, Kavari deserves to be a moderator on all of our, well, on the Droid communities. Okay. He's our number one supporter, so. Yeah. I see. So this is. I mean, the color, huh? Yes. Oh. Ah. Started about. Oh, you go to videos, there's way more. I see. There you go. Put the notifications on. Heck yeah, man. Uh, so we are at an hour and six, so I'm going to uh, wrap this up. Three, my channel is big and four entertainment. And uh, I don't know where can I'm honored. To continue. Yeah, dude. Like you're like you're like one of the guys who like comes on to like you're in the chat and every one of our streams. And uh, dude, I I appreciate all your guys' support. You know, I wouldn't have gotten this far without you guys. So, you know, thank yeah. you guys so much. Um, so we are gonna wrap this up. Uh, you know what? We'll just go around the panel. We'll tell you guys. Uh, we'll ask. I'm gonna ask you guys uh, again to. You know, plug your stuff. So, Jerry, I'm going to start with you. Where can they find you at? Um, Jerry for the win on YouTube, Twitter, uh, let's see, Twitch. And that's about it. Jerry, how come I can't find you on uh, Twitter? I don't know. Here. Let me, let me, let me see. You can check me out on my own YouTube channel, Nindroid243, probably – the only YouTuber that is not a toxic Star Wars fan, besides for the droid community, Robert Storms, Film Master Adam, and some others. Um, you can also um, check me out on Twitter at Nindroid243, Facebook at Nindroid2. I uh, wait, no, Facebook Seth Nindrowski, uh, Twitter at Nindroid243, Instagram at Nindroid243, and Snapchat at Nindroid243. There you go. Very nice. Um, you guys can check me out on Twitter at the Austinator seventeen. You guys can find me on Discord at the Austinator, and you guys can find me on YouTube at the Austinator, where I'm trying to reach my goal of fifty subscribers. So if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, I am doing gaming streams on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, Wednesdays I usually do flash talk, and then Sundays I'm here on Shadow Live. So if you guys can't come to every single one of the streams, try to make it to at least one. And that is about it. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank Jerry and Enjoy for coming on the stream as my co-hosts. And uh, I'm going to answer this one uh, who's streaming. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris, Danny, and Jason are doing a stream right now. And uh, so that's about it. It guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. The author here, Jerry, and Detroit, signing out. Yay.